A rough afternoon for the Pintarelli family yesterday when their seven-year-old son didn't walk off the bus after school. Where is he? Who's he with? Did he walk home? Um, does somebody have him? Um, you know, it's a small bus and it's just filled with disabled kids. And so it was very unlike him not to be home at the correct time. The boy's mother, Kelly Pintarelli, says, causing even more concern, her son has severe hemophilia and takes medication twice a day. And so one of the big scares behind him not being home on time was the fact that he was going to miss his pain medication and then also the infusion that he needs to clot his blood. His condition puts him on a special transportation plan, allowing him to take the bus within a mile from the school because it could be too dangerous for him to walk by himself. And the school, you know, they know this. Um, and I don't hold them responsible, but I feel like there was maybe some breakdown of communication between the school and the bus and then us as parents. This is not the first time this has happened in Jackson County School District 9. Last September, a kindergartner didn't get off at the scheduled stop, instead was let off the bus at a pharmacy in Shady Cove. The district is now taking measures to make sure this does not happen again. You know, actually installed uh, a new camera system on that bus this morning to, to try it out to see what's going on. But uh, we've got, um, you know, we've got other things in play. Our drivers are supposed to be checking their logs from now on to make sure the kids get on and off. Covering your news, Justin Matthews, News 10.